Welcome back everybody. Thank you all for supporting the channel and your many suggestions for future videos such as this one. Kfire wants to know how to deal bullet damage to enemies. We've covered dealing damage by jumping on enemies in our 2D platformer series in more detail, but for bullets, well, let's crack on. Okay, first we need something to deal damage to, so some enemies have kindly volunteered, each with their own collider. Then go ahead, create a new C Sharp script called Enemy Health. And when you're ready, go ahead and apply that to each of the enemies. Then go ahead and open it up. Our Enemy Health script will be very basic. So all we need are two variables. The first, a public int called health. And we're going to want to keep track of that health. So we will create a private int called current health. Then in the start function, we need to state what the current health is and current health will equal the value that is our health. Then underneath void update, go ahead, create a new function called public void damage enemy. We want to damage our enemy by an integer which we will call damage. Then inside, we will state that our current health will be minus equal to that value of damage. There we go. When our current health value reaches zero, we of course want to destroy or kill our enemy. We will do that in the update function using an if statement in the brackets, if current health is less than or equal to zero, then inside we can simply destroy this game object, just like so. Hit save, head back into Unity. Once everything has compiled, you'll now see on our enemies, they have a health value. Great, go ahead and assign whichever value you like. For my blue enemy, I'm gonna go with one. For my red, I've gone with two, and for my yellow, I've gone with three. One last thing we need to do for our enemies is to assign them all with the appropriate tag. So go ahead and create an enemy tag if you need to, just like so. Now all we need to do is assign some bullet damage to our weapons. So go ahead and create a new c -shop script called bullet damage and open it up. Like with the enemy health, we're going to keep this really simple with just one variable, a public integer called bullet damage. Then go ahead and remove the void start and void update and replace them with a void on trigger enter 2D, collider 2D other. Then in the brackets, let's create an if statement that says if the other dot game object dot tag is equal to enemy then we want to get the enemy health component of that game object over dot game object dot get component enemy health specifically the damage enemy function and of course in the brackets we're looking for an integer for damage and that of course will be our bullet damage we'll also want to destroy the bullet on collision. So go ahead and type in destroy game object. There we go. Hit save. Let's jump back in. Once everything is ready, it's time to add the bullet damage script to our bullets. Select the bullets you're currently using. Do make sure they are assigned is trigger, else it will not work. Add the bullet damage script to it. Assign the damage you like. I'm going to go with one. Head back. Hit play. And now when we shoot the enemies, they should take damage and die. My blue guy has one. My red guy has two HP. And my yellow guy has three HP. Excellent. There we go. And there's a lot we can do to expand on this. For example, it's good to have some indication that enemies are taking damage. Their sprites could flicker quickly 
or they could flash white for a split second. If that's something you'd like to see, please let me know and I'll be happy to make a video on that for you. Until then, thank you all very much for watching guys. I really appreciate your time. Have fun on your projects and I will see you soon.